Uh... It, well, if I didn't do it, he was going to do it, or John was going to do it behind me. So, I mean, that's a good feeling. <laughs> what, what was that like, that whole atmosphere tonight? It just seemed different. Yeah, it did. Like, we kept playing through all nine innings. The fans were in it all nine. Obviously, Ellie's making his debut. Um, it was cool. How exciting do you as the talent you feel like you guys have on the team? Uh, really exciting. Like, it's, it's fun to, like, look into the future, but, like, you know, it, like we're here now, and like we're here to play, and we're here to win. So it's it's a lot of it's a good feeling. What's it been like? Just some of these older guys, they're veterans here. It seems like you've just been folded in, and you're one of the guys. And I'm guessing Al, Ellie will be the same, and Andrew the same, and, and just on and on. Yeah, it's good. They've been really helpful, like day to day, helping us, um, welcoming us, like making us feel comfortable, and uh, they, they've been great. Uh, I think it was Stevenson. He threw it, threw it on me. I think he put it on my head, and I took it off, and then someone put it back on. So a little interaction between you and Ellie walking off the field. I think it was the last person you talked to. I saw you guys going back and forth all yeah. night. But what were the final words that you said to each other? Uh, I think he said "out of boy," and then he cussing or something like. There's some other words in there, but yeah. <laughs> Matt, can you speak about just the resilience of this team, honestly, uh, you know, going down the way you guys were able to just claw it and fight your way back at it tonight? Yeah, I mean, that's who we are. Like, that's who we have to be um, if we want to win, like, day in and day out. We just got to play nine innings no matter the score. We're up 10, down 10. We just got to keep playing. That's what we're going to do. It feels like uh, you and Ellie were kind of sticking close together during pregame. Obviously, you're probably one of the ones he knows a little bit better. Mm -hmm. What was your sense for kind of his attitude and stuff going into the game and then during the game? Yeah, he was really excited. He had some really, really good at-bats, like, Took some really good pitches, swung at some good pitches, hit balls hard, like that's who he is. Um, but he was excited for sure. Is that basically what you saw in Louisville being in yeah. what you saw this? Yeah. What what makes that so appealing to watch as a player, maybe as a fan too, just to see all the things that you can do? Uh it's fun because he's on my team, I'm not playing against him. <laughs> do you uh when was your last walk off? Do you have uh, what's your um, most recent walk off if you remember? I don't know. I don't know if I had one this year in Louisville. Uh I don't know. I had one last. I, I think I had two in Chattanooga last year, but uh, I don't know if I had one this year. What do you think when you go up in that situation? Uh, infield's in, one out. I'm just trying to get something like over the middle of the plate and try and hit it in the air, and I did. You had to feel like. I mean, that that's kind of the perfect ball to pit. It yeah. Didn't matter if he caught it or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was scoring no matter what. He tried to catch it. He did. Yeah, but he, he scored. <laughs> he didn't catch it. Yeah. <laughs> did you think it was out? No. Uh, I thought like I might get lucky, but off the bat, I was like, that's enough to score him. Hopefully it gets out, but I didn't think it was going to get out.